क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग पेपर सेट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन अ ब्लॉक आर ऑफ मास हंड्रेड के जीज इज प्लेस्ड ऑन अ ब्लॉक एस ऑफ मास वन फिफ्टी के जीज एज शोन इन द फिगर ब्लॉक आर इज टाइट टू द वर्ल्ड बाय अ मासलेस एंड इन एक्सटेंसिबल स्ट्रिंग पी क्यू इफ द कोफिशियंट ऑफ स्टैटिक फ्रिक्शन फॉर ऑल सर्फिस इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर द मिनिमम फोर्स एफ इन किलो न्यूटन नीडेड टू मूव द ब्लॉक एस is dash so this is the situation given where there are two blocks r and s being arranged like this and r is being tied with a massless string pq also a force f is being applied to s and we are required to find out the force f in kilonewton the coefficient of static friction is given 0.4 let's first write down the given information so r has a mass of 100 kg and s has a mass of 150 kg and these surfaces all of the interacting surfaces have a static coefficient of friction to be 0.4 so let's draw the free body diagram first weight of this block which will act downwards is nothing but 100 into g acceleration due to gravity so we have let weight of this block be wr weight of this block so weight of block s ws all the bodies that are in contact with each other are going to offer normal reaction so the normal reaction that this block offers to the smaller one will be numerically equal to wr and therefore friction force between these two blocks can be found out using this normal reaction into mu s now because this block is moving forward the frictional force on the lower block will be backwards this is backwards and this will be of course forward the friction force on this block will be in this direction and both these friction forces will be equal in magnitude to each other which will be mu s into w r because that's what the normal reaction is now what about the lower block the lower block is going to be subjected by friction again in the opposite direction and this friction will be equal to mu s into now what's the normal reaction on this bottom block that will be equal to the weight of both the blocks together so we have mu s into wr plus ws this is the total frictional force on the bottom block now the external force f is acting on the bottom block and that is why we can take the sum of all horizontal forces acting here fx is equal to 0 on s block so we'll have to choose one body and for that body we are going to establish equilibrium so till now motion has not begun that is why we are using static equilibrium equation we are not using equation of motion or newton's second law so therefore by summation fx equal to 0 on s block we have force towards right f which will be a positive value plus f minus the backward forces which are nothing but mu s w r plus mu s w r plus w s this is equal to 0 let's put the values and find out f so we have f is equal to mu s into g we can take out because when we write weights we are going to multiply mass with g so g we have taken out from both the terms mass of r is taken two times because it is adding so we'll have two times mass of r plus mass of block s let's put the values mu s is 0.4 g is 9.81 into 2 mr mr is 100 into 2 200 plus 150 so this is 350 so we have the force value to be 1000 373.4 newton of course because we are using g in meter per second square and mass is given in kg so we get the answer in newton but the question is asking us to fill in kilo newton so this will be equal to dividing it by 1000 1.373 kilo newton let's go back and fill the answer if coefficient of static friction for all surfaces is 0.4 minimum force f in kilo newton needed to move the block that's why we have used static equilibrium equation because we are being asked the minimum force f required to move the block so at that point where at that value of f 
where the motion will be just beginning it will just be begun is what we have to calculate which is nothing but 1.373 kN to learn more about friction you can refer to the nptel video lecture 19 friction 2 friction this is from the course engineering mechanics by professor k ramesh he is from iit madras i hope this solution will help you clear your doubt thank you Thank you.